nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman and Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. What's up, everybody? Sword Kingdom Key 3 here. Proud to bring you today. Let's play number 11. I'm talking about the one and only, one of my personal favorite games ever made. Let's play Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. Now, a few things that I want to go over really quick before we start this off. Okay, so, Metal Gear Solid is one of my favorite video game franchises. This, this is like a fanboy rant right here, no. No, it, but truly, this is. Metal Gear Solid is one of my favorite video game series ever. The complex story, the characters, the dialogue, the gameplay. I love it so much. I have played, as of now, all of the numbered solid games. I have played 1, 2, 3, 4, the demo, Ground Zeroes of 5, and Flu of 3 going. I need to move things, apparently, to make it stay. But, uh, I'll just go to the options really quick. Oh, yeah, this is back when the PS1, so Circle is X and X is Circle. Okay. I'm going to have to remember that, or I'm going to be screwing up a lot. Alright, so basically, shut up, computer fans. This is a PS1 game. Um, so basically, um, I have played every game. I have not beaten every game. This may sound like a casual thing to say, but I have only beaten 1 and 4. <laughs> and the 5 Ground Zeroes, but other than that, I have not beaten 2 or 3, but from 4, I have managed to get a lot of the story. Not too much, though. I find 2 kind of boring, not even because of Raiden, but just because it's boring. It's not Raiden. It's just boring to me. And 3 is really good, but I haven't had the time to sit down and finally beat it. But, we are going to do Metal Gear Solid 1 today. Tactical espionage action, where the Solid series all started. Not where Metal Gear started. Metal Gear had its own thing, called Metal Gear. Not Metal Gear Solid, but Metal Gear. I haven't played those, but whatever, you know. Metal Gear Solid 1, are you all ready for this? Oh, if you're wondering why I chose this game, it's my one of my favorite games ever. And alongside No More Heroes 2, I did not think this game had a very good shot. 
But apparently a lot of my fans like Metal Gear Solid. No More Heroes 2 got two votes. Metal Gear Solid has eight votes. You know what's sad? One of the No More Heroes 2 votes was from me. <laughs> you butt. That's yeah, not to say I don't like this game. I was trying to give No More Heroes 2 a little jump in things. We're not talking about No More Heroes 2 today. Today we're going to play Metal Gear Solid. Enough of my rambling. Let's just start off this amazing game. I love it so much. Here we go. And... Oh, God. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it on easy. Normal seems the best. Hard has your radar off, which is a map. Extreme... No. <laughs> We're doing it on normal because I don't think it'd be possible for me to do it with the radar off. That sounds... That's balls to the walls hard right there. But anyway, let's get started. Oh. Like Kingdom Hearts, there are a lot of lengthy cutscenes in this game series, so... I'm just gonna let you all watch this. Here we go! This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. We are actually playing the game now, folks. Yes, this game does revolve a lot around... Oh, flu, I forgot this on PS1. <laughs> I was using, like, the joystick. Um, this game does revolve around lengthy cutscenes and that radio thing called the codec that Snake was talking to his colonel about. Alright, but here we see a man. Now, Metal Gear Solid's about stealth, and you want to be as stealthy as possible in this game. If not, you're screwed. I will just throw that out there now. Now, this was back when it was top-down view, and you know, it did that for a couple games. It did that. It did top down for Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear Solid 3, it got all nice and third person-y. And you know, it was all different, and I like, oh, call. <laughs> Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. All right, gonna hide somewhere. So that, that I thought X was I thought the buttons were different. All right, um, gotta wait for the elevator to come back down. Oh, floof. Um, this is not being played on a PS One. This is being played on the PlayStation Three. I got it on the PlayStation Store. I love this game. <laughs> Can I just say I love this game a lot? We are sitting here waiting for the elevator to come down. We're just hiding. Oh God, guard coming. Oh, floof. Um. I don't want to- do I really want to get caught in the first five minutes of the game? Is it back? Is it back? Is it back? Nope. Oh, uh, but yeah, we, what we got ourselves there was a ration. We will get into rations and all the other items later. Basically, you can use L2 to pull up your sub-items or whatever. We have cigarettes. We have a scope. We have one ration out of two we can carry, and then we have nothing. Then right here, we have our guns, which we don't have any of right now, so... That's why we have to stay alert. Otherwise, we're screwed. 
But yes, during codec calls and cutscenes, my mic will be muted, my reaction will be given after the cutscene, or if it's a really important cutscene, my reaction will be giving, given during it. Oh, come on, is it coming? Is it coming? I'm just knocking. <laughs> oh boy. Oh crap. Oh no! Oh, floof. <gasps> there it is. Oh god. It's mine. It's mine. Please. Oh crap. Oh, that was a really risky move right there. Oh god. Oh no, there's multiples. Oh, floof me. What have I done? I have painted myself into a corner here. <gasps> oh, they detect you by sound. I didn't. E I didn't even know that. <laughs> I saw the water puddles. Like they detect you by sound. That's kind of weird. That's pretty. That's pretty next gen for a PS1 game, and that's kind of weird coming from me. Oh crap! Go, go! Don't even care. Go, 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 go! Made it. <laughs> oh, that was risky business right there. Oh. But hey, remember how I said this game had a lot of cutscenes? Here's another. Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. Looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. 
I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Oh, you think I was playing that? Oh, no, that was the game. <laughs> but anyway, we are finally getting into gameplay here. Jesus. Oh. But then, do I hate this game's cutscenes? Absolutely not. I love them. We just got introduced to our teammates, Dr. Naomi, Mei Ling, and the Colonel. Oh, boy. I love all these characters so much, especially Snake. Snake's probably my favorite, just because he is the manliest one of the whole cast. And you'll see why during this series. Now, why Solid Snake is the coolest mother floofer. <laughs> oh, God. But anyway, we have gigantic searchlights over here so that we cannot step directly onto the field here. Just because we'll get seen, obviously. Oh, floof me. Jesus, this man's going wherever I go. That's so creepy. <gasps> oh, God. Whose footprints are these? Meep! Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> Oh, uh, I honestly haven't played this game in- <gasps> I haven't played this game in forever. <laughs> oh, I don't even remember which way to go. I'm so- I feel so dumb right now. I don't remember which way to go. Ah, I gotcha. 
If we go fast, we can make it. We can make it. We can make it. Made it. Look at that. That was that was such a clench moment right there. All right, but I honestly don't remember if I should go into the air vent or the front door. At the SOCOM right here, this generic pistol, pretty much our lord and savior in this game. Pretty much, it is the gun. Oh, okay, this one's sleeping. I think I'm supposed to go on this camera? way. It's surveillance camera snake. Okay, we are going to sneak past this guy. Ah! I didn't realize the camera. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Oh boy, and now we have to f get through these. Come on, let me through. Let me, let me through. Let me through. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> it's okay, guys. We have rations, and we're early in the game, so we'll get more. Oh boy. Sneaking past guards is what this game is all about. Let me just use this nifty ration here. All right. So, I forget. How do you? How do you move the camera well in here? I know how do you move it up and down because I remember it be I remember being able to do that I don't fully know though oh boy we are nifty jifty in here all all cramped up what do we see over here we see oh hey you can't see me I see you over there you can't see me though <gasps> oh god I wonder can you shoot in ventilation shafts Oh, I'm pressing the fire button so I can. All right, whatevs. We're just infiltrating the base, you know? Infiltration, solid snake. Hey, what's this? Hey, a ration. See, we're back up to full rations. And, of course, I can't get in here. Great. Whoop. <laughs> oh, boy, we got a ration, though. If we can't get in there, I have no idea how. <laughs> oh boy, but just be warned. I'm not the pro at this game. If I was, I'd be doing some MLG speedrunning tactics and I'd already be at the first um, boss. Or I went the wrong way, which is also good to know. <laughs> rats! Hey, rats! Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me. If you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here, my frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side too. Sometimes, the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. We got Master Miller helping us out, you know? We're good. And those mice won't alert the guards, because they're good mice. <laughs> These are good. Oh, we're in water. You know, it looks like Mountain Dew, because it's all green. <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. Oh, let's just sit in the water. No. Nope. Hey, guys. What's new? 
Don't mind me just uh, creepily following you. Nothing too big. You never been followed by solid snake before. I don't even know anymore. I'll just follow the mice. He said. There's a grate there. You'd never be too safe. Look at this riveting gameplay. No, I'm kidding. <gasps> and look at that. We stealthed our way in here like a beast. All right, so we gotta be we gotta be cautious. Also, be cautious because I don't remember which freaking um. Oh crap! We can't get in here yet. Um, I don't remember which door opens. Yes. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. This is like my Twitter going off every time in the Final Fantasy X LP. Except for the fact that it's it, it's actually a part of the game in this one. Oh boy, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. If you need to vanish! Okay, couldn't see me there. <laughs> I feel like a boss now. I'm sorry. Oh! My old friend Camera. You see him up there? He's looking for me. Go, 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 go. Stealth it! Stealth it! What the flu? I feel so dumb. No, 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 We don't even have like this. Oh, we don't even have like anything to shield ourselves with. We're so defenseless right now. Okay, 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 go in here, in here, in here. Shh, calm down. You use triangle. You can actually use a triangle to go into a first person mode. So, oh crap, there was a camera in here too. Oh, that's scary. There's probably an item behind there, but you know. I should have just done what the colonel said. Use the elevator. You see that camera right there? I know what he's. I know what that camera's doing. Alright, let's go. Stealthing my way down, down. Chaff grenade. Oh, that'll be useful later, actually. That'll be useful way later. Do you want to press circle or... You want to press circle to get in the air vent. Alright, though. But I am pretty sure I know where to go. And I wasn't even moving there. Okay, that's good. Just, just keep, just keep following the trail. This is, this is about as riveting as Final Fantasy 13, except this is better. Ha! The Final Fantasy 13 jokes will never die, even though I like that game. <laughs> I just know everyone else does, and I just, I'm just the only one that likes it, I'm pretty much. But yeah, I know. Where we're supposed to go is over this way. Oh! Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. This is it. I called it. I called it. Okay, cutscene. The dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say so he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Someone who's killed three people and it's not me. Oh, we got a rival. <laughs> no, kidding. There's someone else here, because I know for a fact, I haven't killed, I've killed one person so far. I killed that one guy, just because he was, like, shooting at me. Uh, I'm just going to take this ration now, just in case I screw up later. I don't want to die in one hit. <laughs> oh, that was a, that was one hit death health right there. Oh, oh, we got blue. Oh, wait, this is outside, oh, floof. <laughs> Crap. This is outside. <laughs> Oh no. We've made our way all the way back around to the outside. Okay. I want to see these MLG tactics. Oh wait. You come over here. No, no. 
Yes, let me show off my cool hiding tactics right here. Look at that, he doesn't even suspect a thing. Look at that, you like hear a plane outside? Sounds like the world's ending? It's okay. <laughs> oh boy. I think that was a plane at least, hopefully. Maybe it was just clouds. Alright, move, move, move. We're gonna, can, we, can we waltz through the front entrance? That's the camera from earlier that got me. First floor basement. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard to get back into. I wonder if I can cheat the system here and get another... Okay. I was gonna try to get another uh, gun. Get more ammo, you know? That camera floofed me earlier. Makes me so angry. But now, sad thing is, I know how to get around it. <gasps> oh, I thought that guy was awake. That scared me. Oh, floof. Um, gonna need to... Hello? Please? Shh. Oh, no! Back, back in. <laughs> oh, I am so good at this. <laughs> I said in the beginning, and I'll say it again, I'm not the best MGS player in the world. But yeah, I know for a fact that I was supposed to go back the other way um, when I heard the guys talking, because that led to the basement, and we need to go there, because there are the chiefs on that floor. We need to get him back. Because things and reasons. You'll figure it out. Like I said, there's a huge story behind these games that is explained through sequels, prequels, and more. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. There are a lot of sequels and prequels, but yeah. I don't know if I said this, but I am playing this on the PlayStation 3. I think I said that already. So that's why I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. But whatevs. We're good. We're good to go, you know? You know, bros and chocobos... You're all, you're all my bros and chocobos. Oh boy. Back here. Now, I don't remember where this elevator is. I think it's over here, though. Oh, floof. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. That's not gonna work. I think... Oh, that dude's coming this way. That dude's coming this way. That dude's coming this way. Okay, he's going the other way. That dude's gonna come this way. Okay, I, I know what to do. Floof. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. They're trapping me. They know I'm here. And right now, they're trying to psych me out into thinking that I know that they know that I'm here, but I don't know that they know that I'm currently here. I need the elevator, I need the elevator. I know it's here. Yes! Okay, oh, I'm going for a circle to activate that. Come on. Hurry! Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah, we're on we're on schedule now. B B1. Here we go. Good old basement 1. We know the Darpa chief is down here and we need to go get him back. Oh boy. Oh, call. Ooh, Skype call. I mean, codec call. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. We are picking up the DARPA chief up in here. Oh. You know, I think after we do that, I'll end the episode. Because, you know, it's a good way to start it off, you know? But yes, he'll be a green dot. Could he be my screen having a seizure over on this part of the... Yep, that's him. <laughs> yeah, that's him. I'm pretty sure that's him. I mean, that's not a dot, but I'm 95% sure that that is the only relative thing. Oh, oh, more calls. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder. I just figured it out myself, smart guy. <sighs> Let me think for a second. If I didn't know how to go up and down ladders, how would I have gathered the intel to know that he was on the f basement first floor? if I didn't know how to climb ladders. Because I had to climb a ladder in order to figure that out. So, tell me, game. Tell me, Colonel. Gosh darn it, Colonel. Whatevs, you know. Oh, v v event. Is he down there? I, I can't check. Can I use my scope? Oh, oh, snaps. I can't use it. I see someone in there. You guys see someone in there? I don't know what I see in there, but... 
I mean, hey. Whatevs. Let me just... No, <laughs> I do want to wanna get a good look at this person. Yeah, I see a hand. I see a hand. That's all I'm seeing. I know if we could go over there, we could probably do it, but, uh... What if someone's having a hand seizure? Okay, let's just go get the DARPA chief. Hey, Kodak called. Nice. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Oh, that's how you press triangle, and then you can, like, move the camera freely. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so, um... Let me just, uh... <laughs> let me just do this. Yeah, this is a thing. Not him. Yeah. Yeah, that is a woman snake. Thank you for uh, using your vast knowledge. Yeah, snake is... Snake has hit on one girl and has been hit on by another girl recently. Oh boy, cutscene time. Yay. Chief Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. 
Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's tooth. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? The Pentagon? What is it? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Oh boy. What an opening. That is where I'm actually going to end it for today's episode. So everything we want to save, we have to open the to open the, the codec. The, the, co the codec. Okay, there we go. He to stand up to do it, apparently. You need to open the codec and call Mei Ling with Circle. Oh boy. Hey, Mei Ling. The Dapa chief. Poor oh, man. He has a heart attack right after you save him. I'm getting a bad feeling about this snake. Maybe you should let me save your mission. So you just want to select save, obviously. You're going to memory card one. That is my that is my old file right there. Um, that is my uh completed file. <laughs> I feel like a new memory card just so I don't screw everything up. Eh, whatever though. We'll figure something out. 
But anyway, guys, that'll be it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Leave a comment on what you thought of the DARPA chief's death and what will happen next. Who is the colonel? Who is Solid Snake? Who is that woman listening in? Who is everyone? All will be answered. Well, probably not. But it'll be answered eventually. Next episode of Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. We all enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment. Like I said, leave a like. And subscribe for more. That's it for this episode. I'm Sorkin D3. Signing off. Peace out, little keychains. And good night.